It looks like Apple might be working on a different foldable product next year after all. We've got some information on the new camera systems for the Google Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL, and Nokia is back at it again with leaks of a phone with a 48 megapixel camera. I'm Jaime Rivera, it is Friday. I'm sure you celebrated like crazy yesterday, and I'm sure you will again today. So join me, this is Parking Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you are in the market for Apple Watch, again, Series 3 is not my favorite, but it's a good alternative. Just remember that the back is not ceramic, so it's not as durable as Series 4. But the thing about it, for $199 right now on Amazon for the 38 millimeter, and then $229 if you wanna get yourself the high, larger variant, I mean, that makes for a good gift at that price tag. Again, not necessarily my favorite. You're gonna have to take care of that back, but still, it's an option. Now, for those of you that were having issues with Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp, you were not alone, apparently. Uh, in addition to that, Apple was also having issues with their connected services. It seems that iCloud, Find My Friends, and a lot of services were having issues, but it wasn't everywhere. I didn't have any problems, let us know in the comments if you did, but yeah, if you were noticing that your services weren't working yesterday, apparently that's it, and uh, I wonder exactly why. Maybe they're sharing the same server. It could be. Now let's move the spotlight over to Huawei and the future of the Mate 30 Pro. The rumors that we covered yesterday in the leaks of the design uh, were really hot. We had a lot of commentary from you guys. Thank you so much. We've got some more leaks on patents for what this phone could look like from the front now. Uh, we had speculation that the front wasn't really gonna change much, but now we have patents of an under display camera that's not visible. It's apparently going to be on one side instead of the middle. And, uh, well, that's an interesting change. I wonder if it's going to happen for this generation. It could just be that it'll happen for the next one. Uh, thing about it is, if it were to happen this year, man, that would be one very hot Mate 30 Pro. And how about if we also discuss the future of Nokia? Obviously, getting a 48 megapixel camera on a phone right now is not a novelty. It's been happening for a couple of flagships, but apparently Nokia is jumping back into the game with a 48 megapixel phone of its own, and it just got leaked in Weibo. From the front, it's got a notch, smaller chin, but from the back, we see a triple camera array that looks a lot like uh, Moto. It looks a lot like the Oreo design of the Nokia, uh, what was it, the 1020, the Lumia? Uh, whatever the case may be, again, there's nothing special about the sensor. It's probably the same one that we've seen from Sony, but uh, we hope that this time they figure it out because there's a reason why we didn't do that review of the Nokia 9 peer review. And since we're talking about multiple cameras, let's also talk Google as we've been hearing that we're gonna get a stove camera. The company has pretty much confirmed that the question is exactly what we are getting in these camera systems. And now it finally got leaked. In an APK recovered by XDA developers on Google's new camera application, they found a super resolution zoom codenamed Saber that has a lot of reference to a telephoto. On the sensors available, we see the main front facing, a wide front facing, which is great, a main rear facing, and then we also see two new ones, a front IR and a rear telephoto. The dimensions on the APK were mentioned for the telephoto being 16 megapixels, and we also see a new mode called McFly for reverse video and selfie tips. Think about it is, I wish that we didn't just get a wide angle at the front. I mean, if we're getting a stove, might as well get the whole thing, but uh, yeah, these are rumors. Let's see what we get. And finally, the hottest news today has to do with uh, Apple and the possibility for a foldable, mainly because we've been waiting for Huawei to launch their Mate X, we've been waiting for Samsung to launch their Galaxy Fold, but if there's one company that we've noticed figures things out is Apple. One of the biggest problems with iPads and the whole concept of using them is that you need a case for you to be able to prop them up as a different product that's just a tablet. Sometimes you want to type on it and uh, the keyboard case that comes with iPads is honestly terrible. Not worth 200 bucks. So we've got analysts already predicting that yes, the company is working on it and usually these analysts have inside sources. I mean, Mishi Kuo is famous for always getting leaks right. Uh, whatever the case, the whole idea is to have this product and fold in a way for you to be able to use one side as a keyboard and the other side as if you were using a screen, which is usually the way you use iPads, only you have to pretty much prop them on a table or whatever the case. Let us know in the comments down below. I mean, with everything that's happened with tablets, foldables this year, should I say. I mean, are you excited for another foldable to come to the market? Because in my case, I'm just, I love the idea of Apple working on something like this because it means that it'll probably get done. 
or it'll probably get ditched like in the case of air power uh, let us know in the comments down below what you think i really want apple to figure it out i really want this market to work but then again i'm only excited for those foldable flip phones which are also a concept right now let us know what you think in the comments down below Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on parkingnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram, and you can also follow me on my personal handles for extended coverage on what I do with these phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the recap with your comments.